This is Nathan with theebookreader.com. So I already showed you guys in a different video, Android 4.0 on the Nook tablet. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you how to get this on your Nook tablet. So obviously, you're going to need a rooted Nook first. You can follow my earlier instructions on how to root your Nook tablet, or you can just use an SD card method. Uh, for this, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to need to, whatever operating system you're running, you're going to need to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then once you got that installed, it's this little icon right here. Then you can open this app and then select to boot in recovery. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and boot our Nooks into recovery. You're going to need to go ahead and download the CM9 package as well as the Google Apps package. And you're going to put those on an SD card on your Nook. Then you're going to go ahead and insert that into your Nook and then boot it into recovery just like this. It doesn't matter what operating system you're coming off of. I just came off ICS, but if you're coming off the regular Nook operating system, as long as you're um, rooted and you got uh, Clockwork Mod installed, you can go ahead and advance with installing CM9. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these little arrows. You're going to want to come in and create a backup of your current system if you uh, if you choose. I'm not going to because I have uh, just did a couple of things there and I already have a backup of my main system. So after you create a backup, you're going to want to come in and do a factory reset. Actually, I don't know. Some people don't do this, but I always seem to do this first. We do a factory reset before and after. I just sort of never have any problems that way, so it's just sort of an extra step maybe, but uh, I do it to be on the safe side. So after this gets finished, then we'll go ahead and install the actual CM9 package. Okay, so the factory reset is complete. We're just going to go in to install zip from SD card. I placed those two files on the SD card. So I'm going to select choose zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Okay, it's not recognizing the SD card. What you do here is you just turn out over your Nook and insert and unsert the SD card really quickly. And now let's see if it recognized it. We'll check choose zip from SD card and it did recognize the SD card this time. So we just scroll down. So I have uh, CM7 on here from before, so we got to go down to, this is the uh, CM9 package right here. And then you just select it with your Nook button and go down to Yes. And then we'll go ahead and install that. Okay, so once that's finished, what we're going to want to do is you hit the power button to back out to the next menu. And then we're going to want to go ahead and do another factory reset here. Go wipe data, factory reset. And then go ahead and do that again. Okay, after the factory reset, the wiping cache, let's go ahead and we need to go in and install the Google Apps now. So go back to install zip from SD card. And so I got the Google Apps package right here. So just highlight that and, and install it. Now we'll go ahead and install the Google Apps on CM9. Okay, so that's good to go. We just got to uh, reboot now. So just back out to the next menu, hitting the power button and the reboot system now. And it'll go ahead and reboot into CM9 and we'll, uh, when you install that we will also si install this thing called sign boot as well. Okay so it'll take it a while to load up initially uh, getting past the uh, load screen and then once that happens if you install the Google Apps you'll be welcomed with the uh, setup process so this is really easy you just set up your Wi-Fi you set up your Google account and then you're good to go running Android 4.0 on your Nook tablet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review because that's pretty much all there is to it.